Hi, I'm Ernie Ramirez, Cultural Center Supervisor here at the Carver Community Cultural Center. The Carver is a multicultural, multidisciplinary, visual and performing arts center located just east of downtown San Antonio. We've been here since 1929 and are the original uh, home to the Black Library of San Antonio and the Black Theater of San Antonio, which thrived during segregation. The building looks uh, somewhat like it did back in the day. If you ever walk through our old lobby, you'll see uh, what the original walls, tile, and box office look like. We still have the inscription on the side of the building in four different places that reads 1929, colored branch of the San Antonio Library and Auditorium. Although the spaces exist uh, to this day, they look a little different than they did uh, back in 1929. In the front, our lobby area, we've got our gallery, art gallery slash uh, waiting uh, area, uh, which is filled with some amazing art uh, that you can take a look at and, and walk, walk through Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. and check out and our theater is home to some world-class entertainment uh, that we present uh, through our main stage season, as well as various programming through rentals that the public is able to access as well. Hello, my name is Bria Woods. I'm a photographer and photojournalist here in San Antonio. And um, I have had the honor and privilege to work with the Carver for the first time. Um, I first got acquainted with the Carver a few years ago, started going to their shows, uh, got acquainted with some of their staff. And then after I received my first artist grant in 2022, I knew that I wanted to work with them uh, for the event. Uh, that went along with my project. So I am the founder and creator of the Herstory Project, and this is an ongoing project um, where I am documenting women in San Antonio um, who I feel like are making history or herstory, as I like to say. In chapter three, which I did this year in 2023, um, using my first artist grant, <laughs> was all about rest. So I reached out to uh, 15 additional women and I asked them how do you find rest are you getting the rest you need and how can we make rest more communal again taking their portrait recording these oral histories and uh, I also did a video installation with that as well and for the community storytelling event for chapter 3 I hosted that at the Little Carver it was beautiful from beginning to end. From the very first planning meeting that I had with Ernie and his team at the Carver, through the actual event day, it was smooth, it was seamless. The Carver team accommodated my every need. Um, the actual day, I, I don't know how to describe it. It was just brilliant, you know, to see my vision come alive in such a warm and welcoming space right here in the heart of San Antonio on the east side, so close to downtown in such a metropolitan area. It was a dream come true. We had a really great turnout. People came from all over, different ages, different walks of life. And we had a really in-depth conversation about the state of our rest. And I cannot I cannot think of a better place to have that discussion um, and that event with our community. Hello, my name is Monique Vernon and I'm a member of the Alpha Tall Mega Chapter of Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated here in San Antonio, Texas. And today we hosted our 20th anniversary of our praise dance celebration at the Carver Community Cultural Center. Alpha Tau Omega Chapter started hosting Praise Dance Celebration over 20 years ago. It was the brainchild of our late member, uh, Sandra Saffinter. And the idea was to bring together various churches and organizations to praise the Lord through liturgical dance and movement. And so it has evolved into Praise Dance, a celebration 
that encompasses a variety of churches. And this year we had 20 different groups participate in honor of the 20th year. And this event, um, is, the crowd has grown tremendously over the years. We've been hosting it um, at the Carver for several years. And we love hosting it here because it is on the east side of San Antonio. And our mission is to provide service to all mankind. We work with um, various organizations um, throughout San Antonio and Bear County. definitely want to continue hosting our event here at the Carver so we get to the point where we've filled every seat. Um, the only reason I could see us move into another venue is if the event becomes so large that we just need more space. Um, but ideally it's a wonderful location on the east side of San Antonio and again for us you know our mission um, is to help this this community and so we really enjoy having the event here on the east side of San Antonio it's a diverse uh, group that not only participates, but our audience has also grown to be very diverse. Given its historical context and significance um, and its cultural significance on the east side, you know, it should have, to me, the same um, pomp and circumstance and, and glisten and shine and say like the Tobin, um, but also preserving that historical charm, uh, say like with the Aztec or the Majestic Theaters. So I don't know, I, I you know, it is a beautiful venue already. Um, and yet I think there's still another level to be had. Um, and that is my hope for the Carver. I'm always eager and excited to work with them again in the future. I think it's such a beautiful venue. The team and the staff are phenomenal. They're so great um, and they do so much for our community and for our performing arts. And so for that alone, I am thrilled to be able to work with them again in the future. Um, and I do hope that we will continue to celebrate them and give them the respect and dignity they deserve. So culture is a big part of what happens here at the Carver. I think the thing that separates the Carver from any other venue like us is that uh, that cultural piece is at the forefront of what we do. It's very important that we highlight culture uh, and every culture, as many cultures as possible, uh, to be able to share because I think that perspective uh, of what it's like, uh, you know, in, in one person's shoes, what it's like to, to walk a mile in someone's shoes, to be able to share that with others who don't know or are not aware uh, is, is incredibly important because we want to honor every single culture that we can uh, and, and share those talents with the world. Um, for the future, what that means is that we're gonna keep doing what we do make it better, find ways to introduce even more cultures maybe that we haven't touched upon. I think that's what uh, lies ahead for the Carver is anything having to do with culture in general. Obviously, our focus is on African-American culture because it's who we are, it's part of, of where we came from. But if you don't consider every culture out there, the, the variety uh, that exists, then I think you're doing a huge disservice to, to society. Um, we need to hear every voice. We need to see every single culture that exists and we need to celebrate it.